Hello, this is Indigo CS. I'm glad to be back making another video. It's been a while since I put one of these up. So in the next few videos, I'm going to be talking about ASIMP, which is the Open Asset Import Library. Long story short, it lets you pull in 3D models from files into your application. So this first video is just going to be setting it up with Visual Studio specifically, so feel free to skip to the next video if you just want to see code or you're not using Visual Studio or Windows. It's fine. I'm going to start talking about actually coding against the API in the next video. So what is ASIMP? It is a C API with bindings to a bunch of other languages that allows you to pull in 3D geometry information from a whole bunch of different formats. Um, the more, likely, more likely than not, more formats than you're ever possibly going to want to use. Um, I found in my experience that Autodesk, Collada, and this Wavefront, um, between those three I'm able to get pretty much all the models that I need, either exported from Blender or downloaded from the internet. Though, if you're using a game engine like Ogre or Earleached, it also lets you pull in those information, so that's kind of fun. Fun fact, if you've ever, if you've ever played Octodad, Dadliest Catch, it's a kind of fun game, physics-based. You, if you've ever played Quop, it's like that in 3D and with an octopus. Um, that was made with Earleached, so fun fact. If you're looking for a 3D graphics engine, those are both two pretty good ones that you can use, open source too. Um, a little bit old, but I digress. Great. So, a couple of gotchas before I get too much more into this. I'm not going to be building from source on Windows. I'm kind of an idiot, um, and I've actually had a little bit of trouble building it from source. It's not exactly a walk in the park. If you follow all the instructions, you shouldn't have any problems. I didn't have any problems when I followed the instructions exactly and I did everything the right way, but um, it's a somewhat complicated process. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a video on doing that. I can definitely walk you through doing it. I don't plan on making one at this point though. Um, but I'm going to be using kind of an older version of ASIM just so that I can have the pre-compiled binaries and I don't have to worry about building it myself. Um, finally, because I'm going to be using this older version right here, 3.1.1, I use Blender to process all my 3D models and whatnot. Um, and blend files are one of the import formats that ASIM supports but not the newest version of Blender with older versions of ASIMP. So if you want to do that, I recommend exporting to FBX. That's the file format I've had the most luck with. All of these ASIMP3.x, whatever they are, these all have the same API. So the coding is going to be the same. Um, there might just be bug fixes that you're mixing if you're using an older version, which I'm going to be using. Um, so my preferred environment for C++ development is Visual Studio Windows 10 and DirectX 11. That's just what I like, and because this is so platform agnostic and it doesn't care what API you're using, I'm going to pick my favorite. I am going to be separating all the ASIMP code, the tutorial code, from the DirectX code and the Windows code. So if you're looking through the samples, there's going to be a handful of files that you're going to care about. Um, and I'm going to use a pretty uniform interface for interacting with the graphics stuff. Uh, so that if you're writing this in OpenGL or you're not on Windows in Visual Studio, you should be able to follow along with the code just fine. This one actually is going to have the greatest coupling because this demo app right here, the setup app as I've called it, I'm making the calls directly just because I'm not worrying about shaders or anything like that quite yet. Cool. All that out of the way, let's actually get this thing set up. Time is a ticking. Let's see, so I want to go over here to Downloads. You can go just to the download page if you've never used SourceForge before. This looks pretty sketchy, but it's actually not, so don't worry about it. Um, win Asim 3.1.1 Win Binaries is the one I'm going to want. This is going to tell me your download will start in 5 seconds, 3, 2, 1, and it's going to give me a box. I've already, already downloaded and un unzipped this because it takes kind of a while to do that. But you're going to want to download the zip file it gives you eventually. Okay, well, of course, as soon as I'm live recording, this is going to be where it freaks out and doesn't give me what I want, so uh, t <laughs> there will be a file, and when you extract it, it will look like this. It's just going to have one folder, the asm 311 win binaries. The things that I'm interested in are the library files, the include directory, and these two binary directories as well. Now, I already tried this ahead of time, and I know with my project, the way I have it set up, for some reason, the 32-bit version doesn't work, so I'm just going to be sticking to 64-bit. Um, again, build from source is really the best option. 
if you're, I imagine if you're watching these ASM tutorials, you just kind of want to learn how to do it and you want to get something working in one of your own projects. I know that's how I've always been um, when turning to YouTube looking up tutorials. So I'm just going to show you how to get this thing working uh, with as little setup work as possible. Great. So the first thing I'm going to do, I have this common directory right here where I'm storing code that's going to be the same between all the samples. So I'm going to go into the include folder of asimp and grab this asimp folder and copy it over. And that's going to give me all the header files that we're going to need in C++. I'm also going to make a new directory right here, call it lib. Because I'm only using 64-bit, uh, you know, I'll make a new folder. Whoops call that x64. I'm just not going to worry about the 32-bit because I haven't been able to get that to work um, with downloaded binaries anyways. When I've built from source, it's been just fine. Cool. And then finally, under bin64, I am going to need asymp.dll. I don't think that's actually the right spot. Uh, yeah, I'll move a copy up here to set up because that's the project. That should be the working directory it's running from. This has to be in the same directory as your program is running. Cool. So now that's all done, before we set up actually bringing in the ASM files in Visual Studio, I'm just going to show you what the app does right now. So I have a bunch of codes set up. Um, where is main? Main, 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 right here. So my function main, all I'm doing is I'm getting the Windows handle. This is Windows specific code, don't worry about it too much. I'm doing a setup app that takes that instance. The setup app is the one specifically that inherits from this demo app class that deals with all the Windows and DirectX garbage that you don't have to worry about. And because it needs to take an H instance, I need to actually pass that H instance in here as well. Um, but the demo app constructor is going to take care of all that. The setup app doesn't need to actually do anything interesting. So I, I do have this set up as a console application so that we have standard in and standard out, C in, C out to use. Um, and as you can see, all that I have right here is it tells me I successfully initialized the demo and then I have, it looks like my Precision X has recognized it as a game, um, just a, a blank black screen that's being rendered with DirectX. Great. So now I'm going to be pulling in a 3D model. Just I'm going to talk about that really quick. I am using, if I can figure out my windows, do 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 do. I'm going to be using this model right here. I am not a 3D artist, and this one's kind of nice because it has all the texture mapping, it has um, skeletal animation, and it has uh, just some non-trivial details that I definitely couldn't simulate with uh, spheres and um, cylinders like I might be doing if I was making a game demo from scratch. So thank you to Ty Zeta for providing this. This is on blendswap.com. Um, it is Creative Commons licensed, which is amazing. You people make the world go round that share your stuff. Thank you. Thank you. I am no artist, so uh, I am going to be using that file. And I've already downloaded it and put it right here. So because I'm using a pretty newer version of Blender, I'm just going to, or newer since ASIMP 3.1.1 anyways came out, I'm just going to open it up and export this to FBX. And right now I think that's all I'm going to care about is that I'm actually exporting a thing. So exported, great, fantastic. Let's save this so it doesn't freak out when I try to quit. And it freaks out anyways. Yes, I do want to quit. All right, I'm going to have to worry about those later. Great. So in Visual Studio, I'm going to come over here and do a pound include under the ascent folder for C import. I'm going to talk about these in the next video. Uh, just know that these are the files that I need to actually pull in a model. In the initialize app function, this happens This happens after Windows and DirectX are set up, but before the render loop starts. Let's say const, and it is AI scene, scene equal, oh, walking man, AI import file, and that is going to be... Let me copy that so I don't mess it up. Simpleman 2.6.fbx and I want AI preset process, I believe. Process preset. Uh, any one of these three will work just fine. I'm going to do max quality. It doesn't actually take that long um, unless you have errors with your code. And why do you not like that? Const, did I mess that up? 
Oh, yeah, probably probably should um C++ properly. As the mass exodus of people watching this tutorial stops watching as I mess up something basic C++. Great, so now I've loaded it in. If I try to run it right now, it should give me a linker error because I haven't actually set up Visual Studio to consume the ASIMP library. Yep, so here we go. Unresolved external symbol AI import file referenced, blah, blah, blah. Unresolved external symbol will always mean that you have a function that has been prototyped that has that the implementation for it cannot be found. So if you're writing all the code and you're not using any libraries, that means you have a file in your .h, or a function in your .h file that's never written in your .cpp file. In this case, it's going to mean that I have one of the .h files provided by the asymp directory, the c import and postprocess.h, and I'm not ever linking the libraries that contain the actual code for that. So all configurations, yes, debug and release, 64-bit, I'm going to go in here under library directories. This is under configuration vc++ directories. No, that's not what I want. I don't know how to undo. Library path, edit, and I'm going to add a new one. Um, and that's going to be under here lib x64. You can notice you can't actually see the file. That's okay. I want the directory, the file I specify in just a second. So I'll apply that. One thing you'll notice if you're if you've downloaded this code from GitHub, this code is always as always hosted on GitHub so everyone can see. You'll notice that these directories are going to be different. I'm going to be swapping them out with macros, um, but I wanted to show you how you would pick it if you were setting up this project on your own from scratch. Cool. So now that I have that linker specified, I'm going to come under here, linker input additional dependencies. This is where I tell it what library files I need. These two are for DirectX specifically, but I'm also going to need that asimp.lib that we're going over. Great, and I'm trying to think, I think that is actually everything, though it is noteworthy to point out. Here is that common directory that I told you about. Um, yeah, that I have included. This is where I contain all my .h files. Uh, if you don't have a common directory like that, like I imagine you wouldn't if you're just setting up your own project, um, just make sure that you go to whatever folder is containing your asimp header files right there. Cool. So now if I press F5 and I try to run it, it should start up. Yep. Cool. Awesome. It starts up just fine. I put a breakpoint like right there. So if I press F10, you can see everything is coming in just fine. I have a whole bunch of data right there. Looks great. Um, one thing I'm going to point out, I'm going to hit against the dot blend file instead. Yes. Same file name. If it fails to import, you're going to be getting a null pointer right there instead. So if I do this, press F10, right, I'm running debug mode right now and it's throwing a bunch of exceptions, so it's going to take a while. Whoops, forgot to switch to release. Uh, well, now that I have time, how's your day going? Okay, that took longer than I would have expected. Great, so now you can see it's null. That means that it failed to import. Awesome, great. So just for the sake of showing things off, I'm going to write just a couple of things. Number of meshes found in file is walking man. No? Are you? Why aren't you going to let me do that? Pointer to incompatible. What if I do that? Is that better? Why don't you like that? Oh, I bet you I know why. It's because I'm not including scene. Come on. Asimp scene.h. Yep, that's why. M num meshes. Let's see out. Um vertices in first mesh. Walking man, and meshes zero, and none vertices. Cool, so let's run that. If I take that away and switch over to release, just make sure that everything works. I'm going to run this without debugging. It'll run, it'll load, black screen, number of meshes found in the file. There is one found, and that one has 1,293 vertices. So, great, it's pulling in the file, everything's hunky-dory. 
I'm going to talk about now how to use the code to access more detailed information that you're going to need to actually draw things on screen. And until then, check out the next video. Thanks for watching this one. Bye.